So both sitting it out to absolute keys, you would think. With uh, Geelong when they're at full strength, but we're probably not going to see them at full strength again this year. Rook, good tackle by Cruz, and then Robinson gets it forward to centre wing. Betts, Harley with him, so that's an interesting matchup. Betts and Jard, well done by Corey, booting it forward instinctively and gaining about 30 metres. Just a couple of the uh, matchups off the screen. Now, Lonigan's been given the job on for bowler. Harley on Betts is an unusual matchup. Joseph's on Adler. I think it looks like Ling is trying to get to Judd. Cruiser won the tap in front of Mumford. Selwood. He was the other one they were rumouring that wouldn't play, but Mark Thompson said on 7 News tonight that he was always OK. But we know that Johnson has had the fitness test both in the rooms and on the ground before the match. Murphy, that one ricocheted off Houlihan, his uh, teammate, and then Ablett and Houlihan and the boundary throw in. It's always interesting to watch the way Cameron Lynn plays on almost everybody, but certainly on Chris Judd, that he lets Chris Judd take the front position and basically tries to force him into the contest. Cruiser leads to the ball, didn't touch it, runs behind, gives onto it, tackled by Rook, down goes Murphy, Corey's on the football now. In his back. He'll get the free kick. In his back. Straight away. Stay there. Ball turned up behind him. Martell has been in splendid form, just forward of the wing, kicks inside the forward 50, Mooney was up. Top of the arm! Yeah. The umpire. Go through, mate. Everyone stop. There you go. Just dragged his arm down. Yeah, and to the letter of the law, that Thank was you. there. Yeah. Geelong just moved the ball so quickly. Whenever they get, they get the chance to get the ball quickly into their forward 50, they do exactly that. Anytime you can get a one-on-one, -on -one, it's, a, it's a massive bonus. And uh, Corey there being able to draw the free kick out of that stoppage and then getting it in quickly one-on-one, -on -one, Mooney drawing the free kick. They have the confidence to do that, don't they? There's yeah. so many teams you see, they get a set kick 80 metres from goal and they look around thinking, oh, should I go in or not go in? Geelong certainly are prepared to go to that. Clock restarts now. Bowers stands the mark involved in a big collision with Thornton last week. Thornton's a dangerous man. Mooney is an accurate kick, puts it through. Well, you were speaking about it before the yeah. game, and he's obviously, he kicked through that one, didn't he, from a, from a distance? Well, that's what I think what he has to do, is he seems like he's got a better kicking action when he tries to kick the ball 50 metres. When he gets close to goal, he can sometimes try and steer it and lose control, but he kicked right through this footy. Nice, firm, controlled power. The other thing is he's obviously trying something. I mean, the grip's different. He's trying to remedy his situation. So Mooney Lee talked about him before the game and kicking through the footy. It's his first match against Carlton for two and a half seasons, believe it or not. Yeah, that's a firm kick. The control power, nice long kick through the footy, kicking into the back of the stand. He kicks well that Go way. On. So the Cats get the flying start that the Blues would have wished for here as the underdog. On the footy, dragged it with one Jeez. arm. Dragged it in with one arm, clear the gap. So Go against in right to Hurlihan and then Hurlihan when he's kicked straight to Mackey. Normally a great uh, user, Harley to Milburn. So Milburn with plenty of time to Munford. So this is a disappointing start for Carlton. And back to Inright, to Selwood, to Inright. Good combination there, those two. They're the two that have played every game for Geelong this year, the only two. Then Joseph did well. Now Thornton, slow kick, oh. Wojcinski overplayed it, Robinson had a fumble, gets back, Hawkins didn't uh, take him out, probably had to with a hip and shoulder arm field, and now to Murphy. Through the centre of the ground, Russell, well done O'Halpin, Bauer, steps around Mooney, goes to half forward and Wiggins, drops the mark, runs inside the 50, stops the footy, on the ground, lays it to Betts, Betts scampers around in the green shoes and goes down towards the pocket. Terrific strength, Bartell plans the call. Joel Corey across the ground with Jinsky. Five metres on Gibbs, that's enough. Enright, what a terrific player he is. Kicks to the wing. Mark is taken on the lead by Hawkins. Wheels around, comes to midfield. Mooney. 
Well, they're putting on a clinic at the moment. Carlton can't get the footing. Ablett. More movement on the forward line. Well, he should have gone to Johnson. Johnson seemed to get a pick from Stokes. And Johnson is a little annoyed with Ablett. Rightly so. Just that quick ball movement again. Even the first kick here of Corey out to Wojcinski. He backed his teammate to have the speed to get through as we see that contact there in Favola. But just Geelong, probably the quickest team at getting the ball from their defensive end to their forward end. So Cruiser puts the tackle on Johnson. Thank you. Stand up. Put him up. With all those uh, handballs off halfback, it was the Selwood one, I'm pretty sure. Not this one. Yeah, the Selwood one who just put in right into space from that uh, flow. That's what really got him through the middle. So Cruiser did well there. Jardin Ling. And then Scotland getting it outside that 50. Enright Robinson. And the rookie runs into Selwood. Joel, Joel, be very careful, OK? You're right in the fence there. Let him run, Pat. Let him run. Kick three goals in his first match here, Robinson, against Richmond before the biggest crowd of the year so far. Here he is again. Well done by Houlihan. Advantage. So the advantage given, but Houlihan's kick's not going to get to Favola, and Milburn runs it over. So boundary throw it on the outer side. Mumford and Cruiser falls in front. Corey, Miss Dablet, Judd, Murphy, Judd again, intended for Favola, and he was being held. Lonigan was holding very early. Pull the jumper. If Carlton can get the ball inside their forward 50 as quickly as Geelong do going the other way, they're going to be able to take advantage of this matchup. Because you can see already, if there's any hesitation in the Carlton forward ball movement, the Geelong midfield are rolling back to support their defence really well. They've had lots of numbers back there on that occasion, one-on-one, on one, and Lonergan was forced to do something more than he had to. Gave the free kick away. There, Tom. He misses to the right-hand side of behind. Just hung it out there a bit. And so Bartel. Wojcinski wide. Just a fumble a bit. Thank you. Eddie Amida. Amida. Move it on. Play on. So patiently again, Bartel releases to Nace. And then to Nace up the corridor. Dangerous kick here. 50 50 ball. Joseph, not a good handball. Arnfield's got to fetch it. His handball's okay to Scotland. Their bow quick enough to Joseph, running with Hadley. And then Hadley's little dinky one, not great. And Tim talked about his kicking earlier tonight, Tim Watson, and he misses the target in Walker. What we didn't see is uh, one kick away from, uh, from Hadley. There was three Geelong players where the long kick would have gone and just had to try and maintain and possession. Advantage. And Carlton's kicking efficiency has been a problem for them in recent weeks. Tenace bounces one to Rook just outside the 50, runs inside. Intelligent kick pulls it back towards the kickoff line. Fisted away by Russell Armfield, who was very good last week. Across the face of goal, Thornton drives it back to the other side. Hadley and Tenace, the two tens. And Hadley just got rid of Tenace. So Hadley. From right half back, kicks to the wing. Hampson surrounded by Katz, fell in front. Gibbs lays it off. Simpson is running through midfield. Favola on his knees. Aerodynamically very sound tonight. Look at him. The slick lines of Brendan Favola, and this is not beyond him. And he's likely to kick this straight too for the same reason. He knows he has to kick it firmly, and uh, we've often seen him pop those 55 metre set shots. Don't trust those eyes, though. He looks like he's selling Persian rugs out of the boot of his car. We couldn't trust him. He goes in short. Gibbs has got it. They all went past him. Gibbs. Terrible kick to the opposite pocket. Off hands. Betts. Could he do a Malcolm Blight? Defensively, that was very poor from Geelong. Firstly on the mark, and then to allow that front and centre that uh, won't, be, won't be a great editor during the week. 